Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Monday, April 21st, 2014. Well, it's been a while. Um, I'm in the process right now of getting regrounded, I guess you might say. Um, I didn't really hardly look at the market Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday at all. Uh, pretty busy up in Wisconsin taking care of uh, a deceased relative's estate and now that that's cleared up now we can refocus and get settled again and see if we can make some more money so for today there's really nothing scheduled on the scheduled news front and I don't know what's going on with this web page but it keeps on trying to pull some sort of data in you can see it popping up here I, I don't know a little crazy so I'm just going to close that tab and hopefully they fix whatever problem that they have going on there all right so if we come over here and take a look and see what is going on across the ponds over in Asia we are flat to slightly bullish and in Europe we're looking at a very smartly bullish market over there today so I'm looking for um, pretty much more the same here and um, here they're talking about yeah the Sosnoff is talking about momentum stocks having a hard time and that the rest will follow eventually uh, but here they're telling you well you know it's best just to stick to it you know just uh, long-term investors but we just trade what we see and there's some other uh, interesting things on here and I don't know what this is all about I have I haven't read it but this looks pretty interesting so I'm going to take a look and see what that article is all about later okay uh, so I don't think I need my browser anymore so I'm gonna close that because the fan on my laptop is going insane here and it usually comes from the browser so I'll just close that down. All right, um, and I'll let you know what happened last week. Um, the last video was Tuesday, and actually uh, due to the response and the way the market moved on Tuesday during the day, I got out of everything, and I think that that was a good thing. Well, of course it was because everything made money. This is, uh, focus on here, this is the Amazon trade, and that was a bear call, and this is Priceline, which was a bear call, and IWM, bear call, and LinkedIn, a bear call. So we've been able to milk LinkedIn, LinkedIn pretty good so far. Um, pretty happy with that result so so far for April we're doing quite well didn't do as well in February and March did very well in January so we're looking for you know to close out the month here with a couple of more winners and then we'll have a pretty good percentage for the month all right let's shoot over here and take a look at the futures here in the u.s we're looking slightly bearish for the open here gold is down below 1300 well i'll be a blue nose gopher uh yeah let me change this over to here there we go Let's see, this account has no available buying power. <laughs> I can explain what that is. All right, so we got called out on our Google, and we're sitting here with 100 shares of Google for that calendar. So I will take care of that using this um, April that expires this Friday this put I will take care of that using that put and I'll report back to you on what happened okay uh, so looking at the futures here we just did that and we got oil at 103 so there we are with that okay let's go jump right over into the A plus list 
and throw up our risk profile. Got EXC in here. Um, I had uh, in a conservative account, I had um, a covered call on EXC and it got called out. So I don't even need this stuff in here anymore. Let me take that out. I know it's a little bit confusing. It's because I'm a little bit foggy this morning because I haven't been with it every day. So that just uh, kind of shows you that uh, you need to stay grounded in what is going on in the market. Okay, so first up is Apple. We have earnings on the 23rd. So that is two days away. That should be, what, Wednesday? Is that Wednesday? Today is the 21st. Let's throw our little calendar up here. Today is the 21st. I don't, don't think you can see that. So the 23rd is Tuesday. So we're going to see if uh, maybe there is something that we can do for a earnings play on Apple. And you can take a look at the video that I did, that I put out, that has had quite a few hits actually, almost up to 200 now, um, in some various different ways that an earnings, earnings could be played under various circumstances, like when there's little movement and when there's huge movement. And it's really just kind of ends up being a crapshoot. But there's a bunch of other ones with earnings this week too, so as far as a directional play at this time, ain't touching it. I am not going to touch Apple. Let's take a look at Amazon. Amazon has earnings this week, not doing anything there either. This particular play here worked out pretty well. Um, and that was uh, last week, a week before actually. I held that one over the weekend and I did, that was a 20 delta play and that one worked out. So we can get rid of all drawings on this. All right. Not touching that one. Boeing has earnings this week. Not really touching that. Looks like we might have, it's trying to tell us here, we might have a trend reversal. So I'm not really interested in anything there. Let's take a look at this. We have Market Maker move at $3.61. Could go in either direction. Let's see if a straddle is going to give us pretty much the same results. We're at 127.92, which is really 128. So we're going to buy a straddle and see it's $3.98 and they're saying it's $3.61. So if you don't have this market maker move indicator up here, you can kind of determine uh, how far they're thinking that this is going to move at earnings. So four dollars rounded off which um, would be a you know one of these blocks in here because these are at five dollars so it would be one of these either way you just don't know which way I think uh, you know from my perspective Boeing is probably going to come out with um, pretty good earnings but you know how do people feel about it? You know, what are they saying about the future? All right, enough about that. Baidu has earnings this week, so you have lots of things to play with if you would like to. So they have earnings this week too, so I'm not touching that one, except for a possible earnings play or directional uh, trade of some sort. Uh, earnings this week on Celgene. Not touching that either. Let's delete all drawings and wait for the show to start on Celgene. So if you're saying that you believe, let's see what they do back here. They actually beat and they took a hit. 
So even if they beat, they might take a hit. Even if they miss, they might take a hit. So if you're going to, I would say if you're going to play this, I would play it to the downside. And we're looking at $4.32. It's probably, if it's going to go down, it's probably going to be more than that. Be my guess. Because back here, I don't know what it was back here. Uh, this was a pretty big hit. 160 down to 150 Well, that's like a $10 hit here. So enough about that. All right, let's move on. Chipotle had their earnings. Well, how'd they do? They actually missed. And we got a big old red candle here. So they had it probably Thursday or Wednesday night because it was a weird week last week. And they opened Friday up and that is really strange. Yeah. Here's here was their earnings before market. Is that when they had it? Yeah. Before market. Opened up really high and did nothing but pull back the rest of the day. So that's a little unusual. So this is no longer valid. Alright, Costco. Uh, their earnings there are <clears throat> pretty far out in the schedule. This isn't early. I believe this is just late earnings. And they missed. Okay, so now here we have a week setup, but I'm going to record it as a setup anyway. Yeah, this is kind of a weak setup, but we'll take it. So we're not putting an alert on it because we don't have our hook down. So we're going to be looking at this. Hopefully I can get to it this afternoon uh, around 3 or 3.30 and see what our conditions are on our indicators here for the stochastic and the MACD and whether we do have a move down. I'm going to, this isn't an, an alertable trade from that perspective, but I'm going to put an alert on here anyway just to remind me to come and take a look at it. It may go off very early in the day uh, or, you know, whether it goes off or not today doesn't matter. I'm still, this is a 3 or 3.30 um, towards a close type of trade. Come and take a look at it, see if we have a red hook down on both the stochastic and the MACD. Alright, CVX. Still hanging in there. Wow, very nice move here. Oil is making a nice move. I don't know why that is. But we have a new uptrend. We have our first shot up here and then a shot down. So this is uh, would be the first wave and then we would look for an entry. We wouldn't look for one right here um, regardless because it didn't really give us a first full wave. So now we're looking for, we're setting a target down here. We'll be looking for a move down here in the stochastics. Okay. see how the Dow is doing. Still wiggling around here trying to figure out what's going on. It is in an uptrend so it looks like we might have the first full wave. This would be one half of a wave. This would be the second half of the wave down to our target if we're still green in our trend. Igor doing pretty well. Doesn't want to come down here and give us an entry. We're running out of time. We have earnings coming up. We'll just have to wait and see how that one works out. FedEx. Uh, FedEx. Okay, we have the start of a new trend. Started on this wave of the stochastic. So we're looking for an entry down here. F5, 
Okay, we have a setup. Not real pleased with what I'm seeing here, but we'll take a look at it anyway. We'll put it on our list and we'll keep an eye on it. I'm suspicious of this price action here. Oh, wait, never mind. We have earnings this week. We're not going to touch that one. Cross that one out. I didn't see that. Thanks for noticing that. So we're taking this off. I don't even want that there to distract me. Uh, we have this delete all drawings. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at gold. There's gold in them there. Hills, a covered call that I did here. Um, reopened or opened a new one on gold. So far it's working out. Uh, we are in an uptrend. I don't like price below the 50 steadily like this. This is not, even though it looks like a setup, well, I'll take a look at it, but I don't think that it's going to be a bull put kind of a trade here, but I have to put it on my list just because it meets the criteria. So we have to take a look at it. This is a setup. I'm not even going to put an alert on here. Don't believe it's going to work out anyway. All right, uh, Google. All right, Google had their earnings. They didn't really do all that much, did they? Uh, they beat and still is in trouble. So, um, I would I would not do a at the money. Um, spread on this I might do a 20 delta so I want to put them in for a 20 delta that would be a bear call it'll be listed under the 20 delta okay uh, IWM some old drawings on this uh, so let's get rid of them all right where are we here we are in an uptrend a new wave here so now we have a new target set down here but again don't like price below the 50 it makes it look weak but we'll keep an eye on it anyway. LinkedIn. Uh, see, here's what happened on. Let's see if I still have it here. Yeah. So here's what happened. I opened this at uh, late in the day on Monday, and then on Tuesday it took a digger here, and it was lunchtime, and I was looking, and I'm like. I'm getting on to all this stuff. I'm closing everything because I'm going to be gone the rest of the week. So it worked out well. And I'm pretty happy with the way that it did work out for sure. So I got out around here. We are going to delete all drawings. All right, now we are set up here. This is a setup. We have earnings next week, so we have another setup on LinkedIn. So I'm curious to see when the well is going to run dry on LinkedIn. Uh, 3M, new uptrend, new target. We have earnings this week. We'll just, nothing's going to happen before the earnings happens on that anyway. <clears throat> Lots of earnings this week. Lots of plays for us. Okay, this is today. So, what do you think? I would be kind of bullish on this. No, I'd be bearish. I, I'm, I'm bearish on this. Even though... 
they were kind of in a the start of a downtrend back here and they went they beat by about 15 cents uh, which is almost 15 percent uh, we'll just have to see I think that they're I think that the fairy tale might be ending here for the revitalization or the Netflix, the phoenix of the stock market that recovered from near death to move up to over $400 a share. Um, I think that uh, I think that their time, their run has run out in my mind. So that's my thoughts on it. So if I was to do something today take a look here we're looking at a plus or minus $37 move here I would do a I would just do a one calendar one put calendar 37 out of the money let's see where that would um, oh dang it it's not gonna I hate that when it does that okay let's do this by calendar okay I already complained to them about this all right, so um, thirty-seven dollars out of the money. We're at three forty-five. Um, thirty-seven. Let's say forty dollars. So it'd be three oh five. So that would be a dollar. Now um, we'd be looking at. Well, if we hit there, like a thousand dollars, pretty unbelievable, isn't it? And do we want to make our long further out? Because it too, IV is at eighty-eight. So if we make it, let's make it July. Oh, well, it didn't won't let us make it July because. How about June? What the heck? Oops, I picked the wrong one. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go back here and do this again. Um, May, April 4. There we go. And we want this one to be in June. So now we're talking $6. But we're at 51% here. So this would probably be a better choice. And it would be $600 uh, to maybe make um, well, eighteen hundred. That'd probably be worth it if I can get my account straightened out, <laughs> so I can spend some money today. Uh, this, I think, this would be a good trade here. All right, let's move on. Priceline. Uh, Priceline's earnings are way out here. Looks like we're in a new uptrend. That's we're going to delete everything here and start over because we're probably going to have a, us a target down here. Again, um, not real excited about this price below the 50, but we'll keep an eye on it anyway. The cues again it looks like a new uptrend not enough momentum going on here though I mean we're only at 0.5 here so that's not very exciting to me so I don't see anything there spiders oh we have some old drawings, so we can we like. Uh, it's not going to let me do anything here. Okay, we had an alert down here, uh, didn't trigger, so we're killing that alert. We are in a continuation of an uptrend, so now we're just going to set a target down here. Let's let's not. Um, Let's delete all drawings and start from scratch on this. We'll just re-put our target down here. There we go. So we're going to kill this alert. All right. TLT. 
not have a good day Friday but it's coming down here we'll just move this over a little bit and wait for it to come down and hit our target Tesla uh, we had an alert set here didn't quite make it not looking good for Tesla we're going to delete all drawings um, it's just hanging down here. I don't know what to do with this. Whatever, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen here. Just going by the moving averages and the indicators, we would have a target down here. So I'll put one down here, but again, price below the 50. I uh, don't know what that means. We'll have to see how that plays out. Okay, Union Pacific. Must have had pretty good earnings. 238, 238. <laughs> All right, just exactly as expected. So no surprises there. Uh, we are in an uptrend, so we're going to set a target here. And then last but not least is Visa. We are in a new downtrend. We have a hook on the stochastic but not on the MACD so we have to let this one simmer for one more day but it is a setup it's not alertable because we're not red here but it is a setup so that's we're going to put them down on our setup list all right so for today for setups we have Costco gold LinkedIn and Visa for 20 Delta Google and Netflix we have an earnings play with a calendar at put calendar at 305 so that's it for today all right everybody thank you very much for watching have a great day and happy trading